Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, so as you know, we're here in Kathmandu. Um, today we thought we'd just go for a bit of a bit of a walk around, a bit of a wander. As you've already seen, it's full of life, full of hustle and bustle. There's little temples and shrines along the street. Um, as we're walking along, uh, we just arrived at the Hanuman Dolka Durba Square. So we're gonna head in there. I think that's where a lot of the old historical buildings and stuff like that are. So yeah, we're gonna head in there and check that out. And can't wait to see what uh, what Kathmandu has to offer. You have to buy a ticket to get in. Thousand rupees, about twelve bucks. Uh, with that, you get this little booklet. I'll tell you about all the buildings. So let's go check them out. Alright, so like most of Kathmandu, this area was affected by the earthquake. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see evidence of that today. Um, it's still sort of being reconstructed. So yeah, I mean, but it's amazing that the majority of the buildings survived as um, intact as they did. So the temples and shrines here are a mixture of um, Buddhist and Hindu. Uh, mostly built in the pagoda style. And the majority were constructed between the 12th and the 18th century. It's amazing to think that um, they've survived all this time. Especially there's been a few major earthquakes I was just reading in my little booklet. So that's even more impressive. A testament to the skill of the, um, the ancient builders. So, yeah, so that was a quick look around Durba Square here in Kathmandu. Uh, it's obviously a city steeped in culture and history. It was, yeah, really beautiful in there. Um, you could obviously see the damage from the earthquake a couple of years ago, but you know, they're, they're restoring it. Um, and yeah, it looks like reading the signs and things they had up around the place, they're being very careful to make sure they do it uh, in the same style, same traditional way so yeah it's you know, it's a tragedy that it was damaged in that way but it's good to see that they are um, restoring it in a in a style that will return it to its um yeah it's full glory uh, i think we're just gonna go for a bit more of a wander around Kathmandu now just see you know what uh what we can find on the streets yeah let's see what the day brings wandered through what must have been sewing machine street um, yeah they were like you saw those guys at the beginning just sort of set up on the side of the road repairing things sewing and then we walked a bit further and there was just shop after shop of those um, sewing machines there was that young guy sitting there fixing one and they're all the foot foot powered sewing machines none of them were electric you just you rock your foot backwards and forwards like that and it makes the needle go up and down on like a pulley system. So yeah, it's amazing. I have not seen um, any sewing machines like that for quite some time.
right, so we're back. Um, yeah, just had a bit of a chill out this afternoon when I met my friend Brenda. Hello, how are you? Uh, hablamos un poquito en español porque... Okay. Porque yo soy de México, sí, podemos hablar en español. Sí, sí, y esta, esta tarde uh, estamos practicando español porque estoy aprendiendo. Y me, uh, yo le enseño, le ayudo. Sí, sí, sí. Lo eh. hace muy bien. Elia, le, ¿me ayuda a mí? No. Te ayuda, te yeah? ayuda, sí. Perfecto, sí. Uh, I'm still learning, obviously. <laughs> Um, but now we are on our way to the monkey temple. That yeah. is not the real name. No. No, but no. we can't pronounce, can't pronounce the real, real name. name. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm calling it the monkey temple or in Spanish, el templo de monos. El templo de monos. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just in the cab now, we're gonna head out there, bit of a walk around and then watch the sunset over the city. So that should be lovely. So we made it to the monkey temple. I've already seen one monkey, so that's a good start. We're gonna have a bit of a wander around. I think the main attraction is like right at the top of the stairs, so a bit of a look around down here, then slowly make our way up the stairs. Climbing the final <laughs> lot of steps up to the top of Monkey Temple, and there are a few of them. <laughs> so we're taking it very nice and slowly. And poor Brenda. Oh, yes. <laughs> has got a slowly. Bit of a, slowly because I have an injury in my knee. Yeah, a bit of a sore knee, so this is probably not the best excursion to invite her on but <laughs> she said yes so yes yes of course. we'll make it we'll I, make it we make it i know no problems <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the top of Monkey Temple. Um, bit of a disaster on the way up. My new camera fell off the tripod. I didn't clip it in properly. And it fell off. And now the lens won't retract properly. So, uh, yeah, filming this on my phone is probably why everything's not looking quite as good. Uh, hopefully I can get it repaired, otherwise, yeah, um, I don't know, I suppose I'll have to look for a, another one. So, not the best end of the afternoon, but it is a beautiful view up here, and monkeys everywhere, it's a, quite an amazing place to, um, to experience, so, yeah, it's nice to be here, but... I've just got to be a bit more careful, it would seem. <laughs> 